char, caldeer, caldeer, char, caldeer, 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 caldeer. It looks like there's a majority caldeer. Oh, yeah. Intercepted Dominion. Let's do it. Very informal poll today, just waiting for people to say stuff in chat. Oh, there's a big wave of chars right after I clicked caldeer. Well, I mean, if you have better latency, then your vote means more. Welcome to democracy in the 21st century. So what do we have here? No Kerrigan thing. We have an evolution pit. I don't know if the evolutions apply. No, it's just very focused on Abathur. Hi, bud. You have no friends. Oh, that's very sad. <laughs> Spartan 211A, thank you for the sub. Cool, no evolutions, no mutations. Perfect. Just Mecha Swarm. This is a pretty easy mission, so I'm feeling comfortable. And then the next mission, assuming we get the Hydralisk, will be pretty simple as well. Right? Because the Mecha Hydralisk is insane against air. Like, it is absolutely busted in the anti-air category. So I think we're going to be in really good shape. This moon has puppy. Your queen. Go! Oh, uh, we might not be able to do this without Kerrigan. I don't know. We'll see. I have to find an Ursodon matriarch and get her essence. Alright, I don't really care that much. We'll see. <laughs> like, I don't want to use her in the macro pits, but I don't want to spend 45 minutes. Oh, it's Banelings. Uh, Mecha Banelings are very good. They're also not going to defeat the Ursodon matriarch on their own. What do they do? Unit take damage to its energy pool before life. Cool, cool, cool. Make it quick. No time like the present. That'll be fun. Just bust in with a bunch of banelings. Very useful. Morph from zerglings. Yeah, I've heard the banelings are very useful. Can morph to <laughs> yeah, this part seems like it'd be miserable without Kerrigan. The just four zerglings against the world. I just have to find an Ursodon matrix. Probably doable if you micro perfectly and you like burrow, unburrow, pull the back every time that they're damaged, but uh not what I'm here for. These Ursodon, led by Matriarch, strong essence. How much damage does this do? Three hundred local essence assimilated. Three fifty. will resist flash freeze. I don't know if it's correct to snipe. Yeah, probably. Doesn't what? really matter. What? Oh, how much damage do those banelings do? <laughs> because... Oh, wait. This did 300. It had 625 HP. And one baneling exploded and it died. Can anyone else do the math there? Because I'm pretty sure banelings aren't supposed to do 325 damage, right? No time like the present. What? Huh. The Fosh's brood. Protoss must have wiped I don't out. understand the math. I'll awaken this hive cluster Feels like I kinetic blasted it twice. Maybe I did. Maybe there's like a cooldown refresh that happened. Oh, does it just not have a cooldown? Whatever. Your queen listens. Yeah. Might not have a cooldown in this mod. Oh well. You have my attention. That's what I get for not using Kerrigan, I didn't know. Let's uh heal my banelings. Become more efficient in flash freeze. I do like an efficient And then you know what? If I have a chance, I will hunt down some matriarchs. Let's see if we can baneling bomb these nerds. Get them wrecked. Do I have a spawning pool? I do. Let's get a metabolic boost. Is it mechabolic boost? Oh, metalbolic boost. Okay. One of the things I've noticed is I have never really read the names of the upgrades, so I will try to do that as we go. Mechabolic boost, anti centripetal. Rocket servos. Ah, oh, that's boring. A gunnergy enhanced explosives. Yeah. Protoss We're definitely going to go banelings on this mission. Flash freeze approaching. The Protoss will be vulnerable. What? <laughs> the Oracle has descended. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. I probably should have built some guys. Metamorphosis complete. Hmm. Oh, it burned down. I forget that they burned down. Oh, that's going to take me so long to remember. It's never going to happen. 
Uh, we have to kill all of this in like 24 seconds, which doesn't seem too doable. I might just die here. <laughs> hmm. Uh, we'll probably be okay. What? Oh, the Oracle's just passively a detector. Okay. Uh, things that we have to learn as we play through this. <laughs> the units do things, and they're not what I think. Yeah, we're just gonna get both of these upgrades. We'll get hardened Egonergy Shield. Okay, so a lot of these upgrades just add the word Egonergy to it. They're not that special. Oh, it's the co-op oracle? Does the co-op oracle just detect passively? You can tell that I just have no idea what co-op stuff does. <laughs> By the way, playing in the co-op thing with Loco tomorrow morning. So, uh, that'll be fun. No idea what any of these units do. Ow. Rude. I'm gonna need to get, like, one queen in order to shoot that. I might not be ready for this. Yeah, I'm not at all ready for this. These sure are a lot of guys. I did not have Banelings. I was getting my queen. Hmm. Well, that is our one saving grace. Did they kill my queen? Yeah, they did. Okay, Let's Kerrigan. I know I'm not going to use you that much, but just snipe I this. Understand. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Circlings go. Take all this down. We're fine. Oh, I got an observer too. That's nice. Things are just going way worse than they should be. But besides that, everything is okay. really need more production. Flash okay, we have hardened shields, which is good. I think. I mean, obviously it's better than not having it. I just, I'm not sure it's the savior that I'm hoping it is. Target the Archon. It doesn't do that much damage right now, but if we ever run out of hardened shields, it will. What is it? You have my attention. We can run this way. Looks like he's not really interested in turning his beam on again, which is good for me. Oh, these, this is the shield recharge sentry. I didn't really see it over there. Doing his little shield recharge thing. These guys just don't die. We really need to fight on the Egonergy, otherwise we are in dire straits. The Zergling is not good anywhere else. Flash freeze coming in soon. I think we can take this down and get another base, really. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, regen some energy. Be prepared to go. Shields up. Take these down. Can these jump off cliffs? They have wings, but I don't think they can jump up cliffs, right? Seems like it'd be a little bit overpowered. I would like to make Banelings at some point. I just don't feel like I have the opportunity to because I have no minerals. Alright, let's knock this area down and grab a hatchery. Remember that on Brutal, you don't get the hatchery for free. I think on all the other difficulties, you do. The game is pretty stingy here. We start droning and we double our economy. We'll be fine. We got this. Now I'm feeling quite good. Until they send the carriers. How much are these? Oh, they're cheap. They're very cheap. I guess that like all co-op and campaign banlings are really, really budget friendly. Because they're just not worth making otherwise when your opponent doesn't have to play a resource game against you. One down. Even if you 
destroy our spires. We will get word to Shakuras. Okay, pull you over. We can take all this down. We probably need a couple more queens just to make sure that we don't have issues with oracles. Run out of energy, please. Do I have a sport? No, I don't. Rough. Ouch. Where'd it go? It just like ran off. All right. I'll take it. Explain yourself. Flash freeze will be here soon. All right. During the flash freeze, I'll get this bonus objective and probably won't give us anything. Is there? Yeah, I guess does the. I don't need Kerrigan levels besides for passives, but I guess passives are good. So I'll take it. Uh, I guess I can't really use these banes here. I can't really attack, though, because they've made a wall. Yeah, we'll use them. Let's go. Should make this fight significantly easier. Oh, yeah, they jump. I forgot about that. Bane's got jumps. Visibility during flash freeze increased. Is it really increased? It's very hard to see things on this mission, Abathur. And just keep pushing this this way, and we are making some stuff happen. These queens have a lot of range. Eight. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Goodbye, Bye. Mecha Nafosh. I'll miss you. I'll Mecha miss you. Oh, here comes the Oracle. Oh, there goes the Oracle. Bye, Oracle. More Banes. <laughs> now that we have the money... Banes are going to be really, really good. Yeah, if it was if it was actually Mecha Nafosh, then she probably would have lived. Oh yeah, this is this is a little bit different than before. That is exactly what I want to see when I'm playing co-op <laughs> commander characters. Beautiful. The Baneling is going to be worth it in this campaign. Hi. Cluster. Meow. Can you not kill my workers? Thank you. Jerk. In a few moments there will be a flash freeze. Can we just end this mission? I'm pretty sure that we can end the mission in a moment. We'll grab the banelings and we'll have them go over. These will go south. And these can go this way. Flash freeze. I always love how uh, evocative Isha is with her language. Flash freeze. Yep. It truly is. The Isha speaks the truth. I love how they just fire like rockets at their target. Yeah, let's bailing this. That'll be pretty good. This is gone. We're losing this base. Doesn't matter. Because this will finish and they just annihilate it. Beautiful. Yeah, this is an insane version of the Jumpy Bane because the enemy can't run away from it. Thank you, Marathon, for the sub. Okay. So now we are going to do... Ever, I keep being like, oh, these missions are going to be easy, and then I almost die at the beginning of every mission, so... We captured a prison. Let's, uh... This is your personal uh, chamber. Whatever. Wait, there was extra things here. Kerrigan has 30% lifesteal, which can temporarily grant her bonus life as she deals damage. Wow, that's actually good. I can't wait for her to spend all of her time underground. It's like legitimately an ability. Still not as good as Kinetic Blast because nothing is, but it's not bad. All right, so we hopefully can pretty quickly grab the expansion here and that'll give us a lot of economy. 
I uh, the enemy's not super aggressive in the early stages here, which is what we have going for us. Plus, we should have some hydras, which we can micro. Oh, corruptors. Oh yeah, the corruptors have their like anti-air rocket thing. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. I like that. Good change. I really appreciate when modders are willing to not do the super obvious thing when it comes to unit unlocks and stuff like that. So I'm actually quite happy to see this. It's just, in my opinion, it's more interesting when you're not sure what you're going to get. And then you get to work with it, you know? My queen, so I guess we're going Ling Corruptor? Do these have any ability to deal damage to the ground? To yeah, they do. We, we might be able to eliminate their... things. With the solvent. Destroy the launch bays. That'd be cool. It'll solve the issue. That's why it's called solve... Sol solvent. G get it? Yeah, you got it. You just didn't think it was funny. No. Okay. Well. Could you could you pretend to laugh? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to think it's funny, but like, a little bit of pity would be nice. Thank you, chat. I wonder if this just rescues. That'd be really weird. Oh no, he died. Alright, go get him. Fire your rocket barrages. Another ability that causes a lot of lag. Because <laughs> it fires a lot of projectiles. Alright, base number two, let's go. There's no way I can sneak that. Are we going to find, like, frozen corruptors on the ground? How is this going to work with the rescuing? Yeah, we'll get that little stream ability. And then... This, and I really don't want to lose this over here. Oh, they blinked! No! You will never leave this ball of ice. This hive cluster now belongs to the swarm. Save it. Oh, we didn't save it. Oh my gosh, the scouts. So powerful. So deadly. That was a big loss for the Dominion. But at least we got another mech eruptor. Oh, were those co-op scouts? Those are like legitimately slightly more dangerous. <laughs> They're not good by any means, but they are something. I'm a little bit afraid of dying here. I'm gonna get a... Yeah, okay. Yeah, the anti-ground issue is very real here. As I try to get a bunch more... Uh, a bunch more drones, but I also need to get zerglings, which is a bit annoying. And I just don't have any money to work with. The economic balance here has been really tough. And I've been greedy. Probably too greedy. Channeled ability, ground units, and structures. Sounds good. Alright, come get me. A little bit of energy while we wait because things actually feel a little bit safe. And then, just keep the creep spread go- sorry, the, uh, stet- stet spread? I don't like saying stet spread, that sounds creepy. Alright, the corruptors are very good against that. <laughs> like, that is quite effective. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Well, we're not gonna have issues in the scout department, which- I mean, was anyone ever thinking we would? But it's good to guarantee it, at least. Gotta get a lot more. 
And we'll get a couple Banelings just to try to help. I have a feeling they're going to hit us with something pretty big pretty soon. So just having a nice little bit of stuff here. Oh. Alright. Wasn't quite what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, run out of that AoE. You can dodge it. I believe in you. Get the economy going, and maybe a couple more Banes for safety. Watch as they send like five Immortals. And these Banes are completely useless. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna get another spore here. The Protoss have launched another shuttle. It oh, hello. is bearing towards an unknown location. They're bringing more warp conduits online. I sense two more. It activated. just works. It like legitimately works very well. I mean, we clear them no problem. Turns out the Baneling might actually be a good unit in StarCraft. Nobody knew this before us. No one had figured it out yet. But it turns out, the secret has been the Baneling. Someone tell Nest T. What else do I need here? I don't even know what this upgrade does. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna grab everything. <laughs> you don't need to know what your units do, you just have to grab upgrades for them. Evolution complete. So how are these looking? Oh, that's a bonus objective. That looks normal. Yeah, I think that we might be able to Caustic Spray. Like, it's looking pretty reasonable here. I actually don't have a whole lot of Corruptors for this. Oh, they don't have a lot of units either, though. Another shuttle has reached a warp conduit. Well, Isha, maybe you should... Uh, Learn from the shuttles and shuttle up a little bit because people don't like you. Was that too mean? I don't know. Isha's annoying. Metamorphosis. Consensus is it wasn't too mean. Okay. Listen, Isha had a lot of potential. I was actually reading in the wiki the other day. Apparently, like, early versions of Isha had a really dark sense of humor. And I think that would have added to her a lot, you know? I don't know why they decided to nix that plan. Because, like, morbid humor Isha sounds awesome. <laughs> I don't know exactly what it would entail, but I would really love to see it. Oh, yeah, get him. Throw in the goop. Oh, hello. here. Oh, that is a big area with the upgrade. My goodness. Mineral field depleted. Would Zerg Dark Humor be? I'm not sure, but the wiki told me it exists. Just really any sense of humor from Isha would be really nice. I'm not sure why they decided no emotions was the emotion she was going to have. All right, we're getting a lot of Mecha Corruptors here. I am, I am pretty sure that we're gonna be able to blast through really soon. We might even be able to just run a bunch of Banelings into one of these. The Zerglings might be able to run through too because they have Hardened Shield. There's a lot of different ways that we could potentially start taking down these. But I don't wanna to be too risky. I wanna max out first because, ah, yeah. Okay, so Storm is really good against the Really good against the Hardened Shield ability, and that means that running through with Zerglings isn't actually going to be that good. Uh, easy mistake to make. A lot of people think that it'd be really easy, but turns out it's not. That is awesome, though. <laughs> the rockets are so crazy. Oh, my. I got the rockets, as they would say in Command and Conquer. Uh, for any of the younger crowd around here, Command & Conquer uh, used to be a video game franchise, believe it or not. Real-time strategy. I know that it hasn't had a uh, release in about 27 and a half years, but I promise it did actually exist. Probably a bit confusing, but you actually used to Command & Conquer in it, which is cool. Yeah, 
just take these guys down, bring the Zerglings in. Keep the spread going. And I think that what we can do here is go options, hotkeys. Zerg Mecha. Corruptor. Q. Accept. Our forces have met the enemy. And then if we just go. Warning, your forces are approaching the enemy's base. Yep, there it goes. It's insanely laggy to do. <laughs> it looks terrible because it goes down to like four frame rate when you spam it. Because co-op was not built for computers. But it works. Don't kill our Stedalite. What's a Zergling? Hello. I see you. I see what you're trying to do. Double shuttling. <laughs> Please. Oh, they got 222. Two, two. Yeah, every time that I'm fighting, I'm like, man, it takes a really long time to actually take the enemy down with these Zerglings. Right, because they know what upgrades are, and I don't. It'll be a lot faster this time. We're going to heal these up, and then we're going to go for another one. Or some people asking what the Stedalites do. Uh, the blue one is movement speed, the green one is healing, and the purple one is uh, energy regeneration. Is it purple or pink? Yes. Okay. It's pinkle, yeah. Is it uh, Laurel or Yanny? Man, that's an old reference. It's not that old, is it? It's probably old at this point. It feels old. But I'm like always... Is anyone else like this? So I know that a lot of people are like... They get freaked out about how long ago something happens, but I always feel like things that happened not that long ago happened really recently. Er... <laughs> things that happened not that long ago happened a really long time ago. I have issues with that, where, I don't know, I have, like, the opposite of what normal people do. And it probably makes me, like, really stupid or something, I don't know. I don't really care about that guy. But sometimes stuff that happened a week ago feels like ancient history, you know? And then other people are like, that happened five years ago? That's basically yesterday. Like, is it? Am I weird? No, oh, I don't know how... Uh, I've never done flyers on this mission. Well, that's not good. Melt it. Another Protoss launch bay has been destroyed. I guess we go over here and... Have launched more shuttles. One through the Just melt that, and you guys come over here and grab this. Oh, the other ones didn't go. Everybody come this way. Target it down. Uh-oh. Hey, we got it. Does that ramp up over time? Now we just have to not die. I have a strategy. Don't worry. Yeah, the Corruptor Goo, it just, like, it ramps up and does so much damage once it's ready. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to blast this one with the spores and then run over real quick and target this down. I don't really care about... What was that that exploded? It looked like a Draken laser drill. Whatever. Take this down, and then we zoom on over. And we were way faster than we needed to be. Fire the rockets. And remove him from existence. No more shuttles, no more problems. 
Easy. Thank you, Mr. Corruptor.